Thank you. Come on. It's a dumb move. King me, king me. <laughs> Come on. Um. Oh, I was wondering, the chicken franchise recipe you gave me doesn't do an egg bath. It doesn't? It doesn't do like an egg bath from the chicken. Yeah, but that's common sense. You should know that you have to do an egg bath when you're making chicken franchise. How else is the, uh, the, the franchise going to hold the egg to the chicken? I, I mean, I, I need you to sense. give me every single step of the recipe. That's why it's called a recipe. I don't get it, man. It's just, it's common sense. You want me to write common sense on the recipe? That's a dumb thing. King me. Damn it. Casey? Is that on? What? Hey! What time is it? It doesn't start till 9.30. Cut it, Danny! Danny! King me! Fine! Cut it! All right! Here we are back again. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Impractically Speaking, the Impractical Joker's web pre-show. I am Casey Jost, your host this evening, and we've got a terrific 30-minute show. Joe Gatto and James Murray are coming out here in a moment. Also, we have a member of the Joker's crew who's going to spill the beans on the way the guys act and what they eat and all the good stuff that happens behind the scenes. If you have any questions for the guys, please send them to hashtag askajoker, and we're going to answer them for you. If we don't get a chance, to answer it tonight. We'll be doing a very special and practically speaking in November. I can't reveal the details yet, but it'll be the biggest and best one ever, I promise. Now tonight, it's not a regular Impractical Jokers episode, but it's the fantastic access presented by Geico Special. You're going to see the guys behind the scenes. It is awesome, okay? Here's a preview. Check it out. You know, whenever somebody comes up to us and asks for directions, we have a very specific answer we must say to them. We always know how to get there. <laughs> The museum, yeah, it's up your ass, make a left. <laughs> <laughs> it's up your ass to the left, yeah, you got it. Do you know where Hadoot Center Street is? Oh, it's up your ass to the left. Uh, east side, you gotta go up your ass and make a left. <laughs> you got it. When's the Federal Plaza? Directly up your ass and to the left. Okay. Okay, <laughs> take care. <laughs> up your ass to the left. <laughs> oh, I think up your ass and to the left over here. Okay. Up your ass and to the left. Yeah. Like, directly up your ass and then to the left. Yeah, go right up your ass here and you make a left. Up, yeah, up your ass and then to the left. Right up your ass up here. No <laughs> and now we're going even further behind the scenes with Joe Gatto and James Murray. Oh, thanks bud. For Hi, James. How Good to you? see you. And me, and me. Hi, Casey. Good oh, to Casey. see you. Wow, thanks. The two stars of the show are here. This is so nice. Thanks. Thank you. I'm glad, glad that you had us. Well, yeah, welcome to my show and Practically Speaking. That's great, man. It's good. I enjoy Practically Speaking. I watch it every time you're almost always on. Well, you were on it last time. That's what I watched that one. I, I watched that. I was out of town and I watched you guys on and practically speaking. You don't get enough of me? I loved it. It was hysterical. <laughs> Thank you. The wow. London episode, right? London one, yeah, it was yeah. fun. Well, that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys are here. We have so many awesome questions. Uh, have you have you been feeling? You haven't had uh, you haven't seen each other in about a month. This is the longest I've gone without seeing Murr in our whole probably friendship. Well, I tell you, well, since college, since I would college, say. definitely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just came off a hiatus between seasons. We just started up season six, and uh, it's been one probably about thirty one days. It's been 31 days 31 since Joe. That is the longest we haven't haven't seen each other since in in the past 20, 20 years. years yeah, I, yeah. I think it would be nice maybe for the people at home to watch you guys look at each other in the eyes for a few moments. You know, since you've missed each other. Well, so we'll much. start straight and we'll slowly turn into it to make it dramatic. Okay, here we go. It's happening. I didn't. I didn't agree to this. Hey, but oh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the count. Oh, One, it, two, it. three. I didn't agree to this at all. So I'm sorry. I apologize. Hey, case cue him. Cue him. Okay. okay sure. One, two, three. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, great. Well, uh, without further ado, let's get to the internet, folks. And we're going to read some questions that you fans have submitted. And the first one is from Olivia. Okay. Why haven't you given Joe a revenge tattoo? That's for you, James. Uh, interesting question. Well, we are not allowed to repeat punishments. That's, the, that, that's what we agreed to. Yes. As a, it's a gentleman's agreement from season two rules, one. Two rules for punishment. You can't say no to it, and then you can't uh, repeat one because then... You'd be afraid to do something, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, but then exactly. nobody could steal your ideas. Although people ask us, what would the tattoo be if yes. we could give uh, oh, Joe a tattoo? Question. And what we would do is we would put Jaden Smith's uh, t a tattoo right over Joe's face. <laughs> <laughs> Full face. So wow, that is that's definitely revenge. Yes, that would be. Oh man, but I hope you wouldn't mess with the eyes because Joe's got those beautiful blues. Yeah, you know I'm rocking this lavender glow. Love hitting you live to the <laughs> www. That's right. What's up? <laughs> yeah, there, there hashtag, hashtag, hashtag internet. Watch. You got. I hope you got 3D monitor. Here they come. All right. <laughs> this was a hand holding. 
This was him. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's right. Look at you. Remembering. Look at me. Yeah. I, I know it was actually uh, it was actually the one two where we had to convince people to put stuff back mm -hmm. in, uh, the, in, the, uh, so in, cool. in the in the in uh, the it was the uh, Algonquin Round Table. That's right. Yeah. I wow. thought we shot this uh, shirt into the crowd. No, this I have th I had three lavenders now. I'm down to two. <laughs> yeah. I can, I'm noticing now there's like slight pattern on it. It isn't the original. It's no, like it's the definitely OG. not. It's definitely not the OG. All yeah, right. It's not. Well, Benjamin asks James, can you? Benjamin Cat knows how to type. <laughs> he does with his little paws. <laughs> James, can you finally explain to me bipolar magnetic reversal theory? Sure. Uh, you, you know how, like, uh, th 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 there's the theory, right? Mm -hmm. And bipolar is, you know, the pole, the, whole, the pole is north and south. Two. And magnetic is, you know, obviously things are magnetic. Iron and, and co uh, it spins in a circle. <laughs> um, it causes an electromagnet. And then it's the opposite. That's the opposite. Right? Yeah. Upside down. It's a flip. That's wow. the bi my, my bipolar magnetic reversal theory. Yes, that's, that's amazing. It. I feel like I'm Thank talking you. to a scientist. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And Joe, what about the quantum mechanics of the, the Planck constant? <laughs> <laughs> I can take it or leave it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that's so fun. Uh, we have a question from Alice, and Alice says... We do not answer questions from Alice. We put this in the notes before we sat down. That's we talked, to Dan, we talked to Dan Green and said we do not okay. answer any questions from Alex. Right, so Skip me, Alice's question! Let me write this down right now. Do all what right. you have to do, man. What does this keep coming up, Danny? <laughs> No Alice questions! Sure. Okay, do you guys want to type it in? Do you want to type it? Uh, yeah. Any notes for Alice? Yeah, I have a note for Alice. Why are you on Twitter? No, it, it's, it's... Well, you it's, made the mistake of giving me your phone. It's, uh, Wait, it's, why it's, did you... It's CK. <laughs> so, CK. Why did I do that? So I put... So <laughs> what did. happened is I just opened Casey's Twitter, and you could go to at Casey Jost. Okay. And, and you'll be able to see what we tweeted, and you're not allowed to delete it. We'll, we'll hold your phone till the end of this. What, uh, did, what did you give us on your phone? I, I thought you wanted to write notes down for Alice or, like, for Dan Green. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're, we're tweeting on behalf of Casey Jost. We want you guys to go and retweet it as quick as you can. It's <laughs> at Casey Jost. Retweet it before he has a chance to delete this tweet. <laughs> anyway, Alice asks, if I ever become famous for some reason, can we all hang out? Lunch is on me. Uh, right. Alice, yeah, sure. We can, we can hang out if you're going to Yeah, that's great. Good. We got it. Good. <laughs> Tweet. What did they write? Uh, you have to go to Twitter to find out. It's at Casey Jost. Go retweet yes, that, please. Go retweet that. And we're going to hold on to this so you yeah. can't delete it for now. Yeah. We're not going to do it at 10.30 when the episode ends. You're allowed to delete it. My mom follows me on Twitter, so... Well, now she, know, <laughs> now, now she knows that you fought marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to see, at the at 9.59, I want to see how many retweets Casey has. What do you, take a guess. Oh, good. Uh, I say uh, uh, 312. 312? Really? Yes. That's low. I say 650. <laughs> Wow. 650 it's retweets. At Casey. C Don't let me down. Right. Let him down. Jost. G O S J O S T. Okay, here we go. Uh, now tell us, then this is great because this is kind of, kind of the way you guys act with each other behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And we're doing the whole show now called Inside Jokes. Now, what exactly is Inside Jokes? It's, well, the joke is constructed. There's an oh. outside of it, and then there's the inside. Oh, people don't realize there's physical. People don't realize there's a physical joke. Yes, it's actually a box. <laughs> it's a box, so you go inside. No, inside jokes is kind of like uh, you become one of the crew. Like, you get to know a little bit of uh, backstory about what happened uh, on set that day or where a joke came from. So, for instance, you saw the uh, the up the, up your ass and to the left. Yep. Yeah. It's actually something we've been doing uh, forever. We've been doing it um, whenever anyone asked uh, for directions, I would always look them in the eye and say, it's up your ass and to the left. <laughs> yeah. And people would just be confused and the guys would love it and crumble, so we just all started doing it. And in the show, so many people ask us for directions. Yeah. Right. Because we always are like a hot dog vendor or somebody that should know what they're doing, you know, yeah. know where to get somewhere. And, it just and, and people away. always walk away from us toward <laughs> the left. <laughs> I assume they're walking up someone's ass at that yes, point. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we have a clip of Inside Jokes, so check it out. You know, I'm out here now, just trying to start over. New life, new name, new job. Do you like it here? Okay, it's not as good as Brooklyn. I had a lot more friends in Brooklyn, a lot more family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, I can't talk to them no more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's good. You know, it's, it's totally different living. You don't know, like, all the right spots to do stuff. You know, like, what's the best place to get to food, place yeah. to hide a body, you know, any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah just browse around. Yeah, browse around, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is I'm in the witness protection. <laughs> I had to get it off my chest of somebody. You understand? Yeah, sure. I'm with the Scrazzy Odd, so they call me Joey Turnco. Scrazzy Odd. That's right. great. Yeah. I, I love those, those little tidbits. That was shot at Alan's Boots, remember? That was That's right. That was when we were in Texas. That was in Austin, Texas, that, yeah. that bit. That mm -hmm. was a fun episode. We did, we did every challenge was a different part of Texas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the boots, that, I, I think that out of the four of us, I think I looked best as a cowboy. You would think that, I think. Yeah, you're right. Um, 
You definitely tried to wear that outfit for as long as possible. <laughs> I did. He definitely took so many selfies on a ranch. I did. And he tried to like look like the Marlboro Man, but the problem was he looked like a menthol cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, that's very interesting, because the next question is from Jade, and she asks, why are Sal and Q so damn cute? I know, right? I mean, Isn't it crazy? The only word that comes to mind is delicioso. They're adorable. They're adorable. Delicioso. Delicioso. Well, you know, Q's got the rugged, classic, good, lo good looks, and Sal's just like a Latino marshmallow that you want to hug. Yeah. I mean, that's it. And then that's what do you got here? You got a you got a fat married guy, and you got a ferret. <laughs> like, wait, wait, if you're gonna if you're gonna put him in order, you go with the the marshmallow Latino and the rust, <laughs> the, the good look, you know, the dirty yet bad boy and over the <laughs> over the ugly skinny ferret or the fat married man whose buttons are hanging off at your life and his face is sweating. There's no air conditioner in True TV. There's no air conditioner here. It's, it's so hot in here. To, uh, everybody I at never home, come back please here. turn your air on. Hopefully it'll come here. I mean, I, honestly, look at this button. You're, you're, <laughs> look at this button. I know. It's, 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 you could kill somebody at home. In the office the other day, I tell him how you kept talking about Q's hair. You kept being like, hey, so the mop. <laughs> yes, Q's, the Q's sitting next to you and you guys we're just talking about I'm it. like, yeah, this dirty, he's got this gross, dirty mop on his head. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to say, that's so awful. It's like, we're talking about something else we're going to have for lunch today. I don't know, but I'm going to spill it and clean it up with <laughs> Q's hair. Uh, uh, then we have fun. They're cute. Leslie asks, if either of you could have played a joke on anyone in history, who would it have been? Oh, I, I, I probably wouldn't say Jesus. Yeah. I don't think we should do you that. Don't mess with him. I don't know if he has a, has a sense of humor. He's busy. He's got a yeah. He's got a lot to do. Heal with the guy. world. That whole thing. Yeah. Does he sing too? I am. He just sang. Now Jay, no, Jay yeah, sings. Yeah, 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 you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, I don't know who she would. Uh, uh, play, to play a pr to play a prank on anybody in the world. I mean, it's, you got to go with somebody who's time. like yeah. You have to go like uh, Queen Elizabeth, right, or somebody very proper. Maybe. Queen Latifah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Queen, Queen Latifah's Latifah? got a great sense of humor. We yeah, met her. You know, Genghis yeah. Khan. Genghis Khan. He well, he would just cut your head off, James. You yeah, gotta. Yeah. James I can take Khan. the Queen. James, James Khan. Khan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Con Air. Oh, Con, Con yeah. Air is a great movie. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cage the Elephant. That's a great band. Great band. Yeah, yeah. Elephant Man. He wouldn't be able to take a joke. No, no, no. Man, oh man. Yeah. All right. Jesus. Jesus. This is the answer, I guess. You know, people say that Jesus was the original Carbonara. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus was the original blogger, right? Jesus, Jesus was the original blogger. blogger. That's right. All right, well, now we're going to play a very special game called Joker vs. Joker Trivia. Okay. Donuts and ferrets. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Very fun, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Joe, you are first up, and the question's for you. Are these Joe, real questions? These are real questions. Oh. And there's a prize. Okay. Oh. Okay, first question is, Joe, which nation's immigrants brought donuts to America? Uh, it's the Polish. Polish. Final answer? <laughs> yeah. It is like when you split a bill, Dutch. Oh, the Dutch. Oh, the Dutch. I knew, I, knew it was, I knew it was in that area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the, in the yeah. Polish-Dutch Polish area. Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What area is that? Yeah, the, po po the Putch. <laughs> <laughs> the upper Putch. East, 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 east Putch. The East area. Yeah. All right, James. Yes. True or false? Okay. Ancient Romans used ferrets for hunting. <sighs> Ancient Roman. He gets a true or false? for hunting? Oh, later. Who would have ferret hunt? I'm, I'm going to say yes, because they probably hunted rodents. True. True. Final answer? Yes. That's right. Nice. Yes. Good work, man. All right. Oh, that's nice. Healthy competition. Next, James. Oh, sorry. Oh. Mr. Gatto. Hello. What American city has the most donut shops per capita? Cleveland. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like Cleveland. Seven, that's like for real. You know it. That's 100%. Because remember we went to that city that had a lot of donuts? Rado, uh, Cleveland, every... Ohio. Most yeah. donuts per capita. That's a good friend. He's helping. Most donuts. We were on tour. We were on tour, yeah, and there was, like a, uh, there was donut shops <laughs> Yeah, everywhere. Cleveland, Ohio. There's O's in it. It's Ohio's. It's, yeah. Bo it's Boston. 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 Yeah, yeah, Boston. The cream. Boston donut. Oh, the Boston oh, cream. Boston cream. Hey, no, it's right. I knew it was. I knew it was in that area. East. <laughs> I knew it was in that area. Yeah, East. Alpha, yeah. What area is yeah, that? It was uh, Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh, all right, next, uh, Mur. Yes. What do you call a group of ferrets? Oh. Mm. Don't throw it in the clip. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's what everybody's whispering back here. Yeah, this, this is this noise. Don't try. throw it in the clip. We're There's okay. A big sign We're also can I borrow that sign, please? <laughs> this is what's happening here in the back of the joke. Thing. They're they're writing a sign feverishly. They're like, don't throw it in the clip. And they're holding it up so we see we get it. Don't throw it in the clip, chaos. Dan Green. I we love get it. it. It's chaos. We it's got the opaque. Out. Something's it's, opaque. What's on? going on? I don't know. They're going, they they almost took the commercial. Over your face. <laughs> you got the slider slipped. Somebody slide the slider. 
I love it. I you mean, know what? This is we don't care. I, I mean, look, I look, I look like I look like a billboard. <laughs> James, it just says James. There, there we go. I look, what is that on my neck? Oh, oh, somebody, my... somebody's gonna get a talking to from Dan Green. <laughs> That's, right. That's all I'm saying. He's oh, what was the it. question? The Super question balls? is, uh, uh, no, it's a oh. group of ferrets. What do you call a group of ferrets? Well, it's not a school. Mm. Um, it's gonna be... uh, how about a um, a, a pack? Mm. It's not. It's a business, business. of ferrets. Business of business ferrets. Of ferrets. <laughs> business of ferrets, yeah. yeah. Yo, I, this is my business. Yeah, I told you to mind this your business. This is my ferret mind business. Mind your business. So you'd have to maybe find some other people who look like you and make a little business. Yeah, yeah. start a business Start together. a business. You yeah. call it ferrets. Yeah, right. go to Chase. Mur, uh, or no, next, Joe. Why do you keep calling me Mur? Are you messing up? Are you nervous? I'm so nervous to be around you guys. <laughs> it's been five years, but That's I'm it. so nervous. Uh, Joe, true or false, a French... False. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I told you, man. I got it. <laughs> uh, the question was, a French donut is called a pet de nun, mm. which translates into a nun's belch. That's not right. It's false. It's actually... A <laughs> bus It translates to a nun's fart. That's fart. That's right. That's what it was, yeah. All right. Uh, James, are <laughs> ferrets legal on Staten Island? Oh. No! Uh -huh. So they were illegal for many years in New York. Uh -huh. I know this for a fact, and they were just legalized months ago. Yeah, you're thinking about marijuana. Oh! <laughs> Wait, which one do you smoke and which one do you walk? Uh, it, uh, that's up to the user. Right? <laughs> I stick with my answer. They oh. are now legal in New York City. That's false. That ferrets are illegal in New York City. What? I mean, unless this happened I today. A few months ago, they made it legal. I lost count of the score, but I think I won. We got a score. What's the score? What's the score? Nobody was paying attention. Everybody was <laughs> yelling, "Don't throw to the clip!" <laughs> no one was keeping score. No. score. It's tied one one. It looks like we can, we can throw, throw to the, the clip. That's it. We can throw to the clip. We can throw to the clip. All right. Well, let's. No. Not throw to the clip no, because we just got a new no, sign no, that no, says no, "Don't no, throw no, to the clip." No clips. No clips. What the hell's the point of this thing? Uh, don't why know. don't we reenact the scene? Yeah, here's the scene <laughs> that you guys were trying to say. Here Wait, we so go. Tied one one, right? He got. Why is yeah, tied one no, one? He ran out of questions. Nobody. No, cares. we got plenty of questions. Make it to, a, to another question. It's tied one one. All right, final question is for both both of you. Both of you. Whoever okay. answers the first wins. All right. Okay. Uh, do ferrets like donuts? Oh, it's a combo. You see what they did there? I'm going to say yes. Uh, well, I have to say no now. <laughs> I'll say no. He's right. It's false. Ah, They're carnivores. They're carnivores. They only eat meat. Only eat meat. I don't know. <laughs> Ferret is a carnivore? Yeah, they... <laughs> They'll kill you. <laughs> we don't want that. They'll... It'll kill you when you sleep. What? Yeah. yeah. They smell weird. They will kill you. So I won. Yep. Very, so we won a, a real... We're gonna, oh, here's your clip. prize. Oh, wait. Here's your prize. You won. It is a carbonara uh, <laughs> tote bag. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Compliments MC, of Carby himself. He's made it up here. I miss Michael Carbonaro. We should call him. He's... You know what? Call him. Are we going to call Michael Carbonaro? Can we call Michael Carbonaro? We're going to call Michael Mikey Carbonaro. Mikey Carbs? He's watching us right now. We're going to leave sure. Michael Carbonaro a voicemail right I now. I would call him, but I, I got to get my phone okay, back, which you have. <laughs> I'm going to put this up. We're going to leave him a voicemail. I hope he answers. It'd be very, very oh, odd. Oh, it's ringing. It's very odd. Oh, it's it's ringing. Shh. Michael Carbonaro. You can see the phone number. Don't do that. No, we can't see the phone number. This is the most fun. Oh, we prank him. We got to prank him. He's. he's He's never, this is this ring is, you can't even see Are we allowed to do this legally? Is that on speakerphone? We can't do this? No, you're not allowed to do it. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, yo, wait, 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 And that's all the time we have. No, we have ten minutes. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, Sal stole Mer's phone. It sounded like Joe. Yeah. Screwed up. That's the real magic. Uh, our next guest is a crucial part of the Impractical Jokers family. Uh, she's had, had a recent star turn in this scene mm -hmm. from a London episode. We should, we can't, we, have we to don't reenact. have the clip. We don't have the We're clip. We're gonna reenact the scene though. <laughs> it's the scene where Sal is in London. You remember this, the London episode when Sal's talking sassy and there's a very special guest. That's yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's our girl, uh, Siobhan DeBerry. Oh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen Shay. Shay! Shay! Yay, we love Shay. 
Shay is in the house right now. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out of it's telling these guys good. what to do. <laughs> huh? I'm on the other side of the camera. This yes, really she's normally over there. there. But you are an actor. I am mm -hmm. an actor. And very good. Yes. Very good one. On the show, though, what is your job for people at home? On the show, my job is to make sure that these guys are in order and mm -hmm. place and mic'd, makeup, fed, yes. and all that good stuff. She has the hardest job on it, almost anybody, I think, because she has to handle the four of us. Yes. And we're four not easy. Eight different personalities. <laughs> yeah, eight yes. different. Depends who shows up that day. Maybe. <laughs> uh, now, how long have you been with the show? Uh, season two. Wow. Yeah, yeah, first day of season two. And that's Four a long years. time. Like season one was like a month, and then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then so you've been there pretty much since the beginning, since as long as as long as I can remember. I mean, if you want to talk episodes, mm -hmm. you're talking you're talking a hundred and uh, oh, over hundred episodes, over hundred sure. episodes, one hundred four oh, uh, episodes. Oh yeah, never checked then. One hundred four yeah, episodes. Sure. Yes, that's right. You you could be syndicated. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check every time you're here. There you go. Well, walk us through your day on set. Like, what's a typical day look like for you? Um, typical day on set. I come in, go to set. Uh, figure out what they want to eat. Yes, that's a big thing. That's we get a word. text. We, we get a, a text. Lot. We get a text every no, morning. I'm, yeah. I'm wait. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I figure out parking. Parking first. Parking. Right. The text has parking, parking. Where we could park, and then the yes. next thing is like, what do you? What do you want to eat? You're Shit. basically your four babies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are my kids. What do you, Joe and I eat? Okay. Pineapples. Yes. Uh, chicken noodle soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, black cherry soda. Yes. Open face turkey y sandwich. Yes. Gravy. Yes. Pickles, that, yes. finish with All mustard. Delicious. Yes, every day. Um, that's it. That's precisely my order. Yeah, that's about it. Sometimes chicken pad thai. Joe, yeah, you're what did Joey correct. order? Joey, Joey's pretty easy. Joey's Joey's pretty easy. In the morning, he just really doesn't want much. He might do oatmeal, which is my favorite, so I get mm -hmm. the double I order. With, I do it with bananas. Um, so. Yeah, bananas. You can find fresh honey and put in Honey, <laughs> brown sugar, mm, you can't, you can't not have the brown uh, sugar. nuts, raisins. Mm -hmm. Which? Coffee, hazelnut, yep. cream and sugar, yep. or we've been on the Dunkachino. Dunkachino. Yeah, it's been Dunkachino season Dunkachino, now. Dunkachino, yeah. Right. Um, Which yeah, one of us easy. is the hardest to deal with on a daily basis? Yeah, I want to know who's like, what's the most particular order yeah. that like maybe one of the guys has? Oh, food order, or you mean just to deal In with? In general. Oh no, then yeah, that's different. Yeah, it's this guy. Me? Yeah. What do you mean? You have the most demands. No, I do not. Don't I love you. Do I? I love you. You all know. You're not answering my question. I love you. I, I demand you. things. I don't have parking. I don't have a car. This is that's it. Oh. <laughs> but I eat yeah, all day she's long. gonna be like, fix yes. my jeans. But I like to eat, so that gives me an excuse to eat. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, Shay will order two what we ordered and be like, oh, they messed up. Oh, and she'll Jesus. eat the other one. Sorry. Well, my favorite thing about hanging out with you guys is that there's always just like extra food around that yes. I get to eat. Yes, right. that's right. That's no, I my swear, thing. Casey comes to right? set, he's like, so what the guys order? Yeah. <laughs> is there any leftovers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, tell us more about the guys. Like, um, what's the most you've ever seen one of them eat? Like it's, it, James seems like the guy who eats, eats the most, and it doesn't seem like Ironically. it looks like it, right? Ironically. Well, James eats the James most over time, the most. but not yeah. the most in the sitting. Not in this, yeah, this is true. Yes. James is this always is eating. Mm. Yeah. He'll eat, yeah. like right now, say he'll eat now, then maybe an hour later, he'll be like, uh, so, Shay, what about food? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think there was one day we counted, I ate, I think, 7,000 calories yeah. in one day. Yes. Right, we edited it all up. It's at least two chicken noodle soups. Yeah. Um, this is not just Shay's job. Shay's an associate producer on our show, by the way. Arguably, our, for the guys and I, our our most valuable person. Like we we rely on you for everything. You make our show so much better. I Shay is I actually. Think that's, just, like, yeah, just, but Shay's actually our secret weapon because whenever somebody won't sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they're yes. on the brink of not signing and not being on the TV show. Signing you'll release, hear yeah. a release. They have to sign and say, okay, uh, don't blur me. Yeah. If they're on, this, on the fence, we'll send in Shay and she'll go get it. The big guns. 95% of the time, Shay will walk yeah. away with that signature. You're talking about Shay. multiple personalities. You could get Sweet Shay, which oh. is most oh, of the yeah. time. Oh, you get Street Shay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't watch Street Shay. What a hat to the she, Like if somebody mess, talks to us in a way that she doesn't like, somebody gets upset with us, or whatever, mm -hmm. Shay will come out and she will mm -hmm. be a firecracker. These are yeah. my kids. I, I feel like I'm their mom and I got to. Protect my cubs. Yep. I'm sorry. She's the I best. spoke. I spoke. Uh, I spoke a little rude to Sal once, and she beat the you know what out of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Beat the cue out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, though, this is an interesting inside jokes. Watch it tonight at ten thirty. Is it on tonight? Yes. Yes. So ten thirty. The Casey started out as a PA, mm. and Casey 
was our go-to release guy. Whenever right. there was that a was problem, good. we would say, send in Casey. He would get the 98% of the time you yeah. get Casey. Yeah, yeah Casey. You, were, you were the big gun. He was Season the big one, gun. Man, Season that was one. it. Well, thank you, Casey. <laughs> yeah. But I also, mean, uh, to be fair, there was like six people on the crew, so there wasn't many people <laughs> to choose from. I mean, you had a lot more competition. <laughs> yeah, like the second best person at getting releases was Murr. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was, everyone was like, I you know, working in every that. division. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Well, who's the biggest diva? Everyone asks that. It's gotta be Sal. It's gotta be. He's not it's, here. You could say it. It's a toss, though. Mm -hmm. It's. I, I love you again. It's between you and, and Sal. Get out of here. It's between. I you hear and there's and a Sal. massage once. I'm on time. While. You're always on time. Sal's always late. But Sal <laughs> comes to set and he's always. Yeah, you he, he, you have phone fast. calls yeah, and you have yeah. other things that I, you have to do. And I totally understand because your money's my money. I love you. But. It takes away from time of a shooting. Yes. It takes so me longer when to do Sal stuff. comes yeah. in, he's like, "All right, what do I gotta do? Makeup? I don't even have to tell him anything. He goes straight to Lily, Lily Beth. Mm -hmm. Makeup's done. He goes straight to Danny Hollis. Mic'd, and then he comes to me. He's like, "Where's my food? Yep. And then he'll eat. Well, you Sal come and I, in, and you're like, "Where's my food? Sal and I take the longest turns when we're performing, too. Mm -hmm. Joe is the fastest. Yeah. So we always oh, end Joe the, knocks it out. Always end the day with you. Yeah. Yeah. You perform sure less. Because he just, he nails it immediately. Q has his moments of being very fast, though. As well. I mean, yes. you see him, like, in the show, he'd go, get it done, and get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But it's actually, like, that behind the scenes, too. Yeah. You can tell Q's on set waiting for Joe to say, we got enough. Let's go. He's just <laughs> yeah. waiting. Yeah. Uh, well, tell us, um, do you think we could go a season, since season six is coming up, yeah. is there going to be a season where uh, people aren't making fun of Murr? Yeah, this is, this is the season. This, this is, is the season. season. We're actually changing the target. This I season. am. Oh, uh, yes. Me, you... me and me and Q, uh, me and Q spoke about it. Okay. Uh, and offline, and we said uh, enough of making fun of Mar. We did that for five. Okay. Uh, season six is uh, we put Sal in the crosshairs. Whoa. And we're just gonna totally obliterate him. I'm gonna go yes. on record too. This season is saying that uh, this is the season of Mer's revenge. Well, wow. he says stuff like that, and we put him right back. In the <laughs> <laughs> because you know, he, he, so, he, sometimes you just gotta stop your mouth. Oh, It'll never stop. <laughs> Maria uh, from Twitter asks, does Sal want to get married? Would he go on a date with a fan? This is a hard-hitting question. No. Yeah. No. No, he okay. wouldn't. No. That's crazy. That's... He doesn't know you. You don't know him. He don't know you. You don't know you? him. Your name's probably not even Maria from Twitter. No, it's probably Alice. That's right. And we know <laughs> how we feel about Alice. Right? Don't, Danny? don't throw to the clip. No more <laughs> Alice's or Maria's. All right, this is a question from Brazil. Ooh, Joe, the you, country? Yep, the whole country. Joe, you never seem embarrassed on the show. What time were you seriously embarrassed? When I was uh, 12 years old on Easter Sunday, I fell. <laughs> I was walking to the bathroom. My sister, Bella Vita, uh, to the restaurant in Staten Island. <laughs> and I was walking to uh, the bathroom, and my older sister and I didn't really get along. And I tripped on a step. I didn't see it. Uh, and I fell and hit hard. And the whole place looked. And my sister pointed and laughed. And everybody was like, ah. And I stood up and went, ta-da. And everybody oh, laughed. Wow. And I was like, boom. I own it. That's it. Right. No, no, no so, way, no how. 12 years old. I'm 40 now. <laughs> the, que years. the question was, when were you embarrassed? And you were just like, it's so this time I wasn't mantra. embarrassed. It, it became like Eminem, lose yourself. Like, come on. That was the last time I was embarrassed. I was you like, better oh, lose that. some weight. <laughs> Sorry. Did Ella. you just say you better lose some weight? Yeah, it was like, it's well, Joe's it was like, we'll talk about that later. All right, I'm fine. Mom's spaghetti's delicious. Mom's <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. All right, Ella asks Joe, how long have you been saying ba? Boom. Ba boom. That started in uh, your birthday party when we were uh, 17 years old. What was the? Tell us hey, a little right. bit. Hey, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. My surprise party. birthday party. Surprise birthday party when he walked in and yelled ba boom. That's it was, right. It was uh, there, my. It was. There. It was our, my surprise birthday party at my parents' house. Yeah. Uh, my then girlfriend Megan Schaefer uh, threw a party for me. Joe was there and I walked in. And he goes ba boom. Yeah, that was the beginning. And that's how you entered the. the that's room? it. How old are you? Well, he entered. We were 17. He entered. Oh, he entered. Birthday party. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was it. That was the first. It's always accompanied by an air hump. Yeah, it's that's, gotta be. It's gotta that be. was the first air hump. Forever, yeah. yeah, that was my it? first air hump. <laughs> <laughs> I was seventeen. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie asks Murr, "How solid is Tara's marriage?" Mm, um, this is your that's ex? Not, We're not gonna answer that. Skip that. I okay. can't answer you that. Can't All right, answer I can't that. Am that. Amara <laughs> says, "Would you rather have a short, exciting life or a long, boring one?" Uh, you can't. There's no option that has a long, exciting life. No, not in the, not. Um, that's not in Amara's. I think you, you got to go short and exciting, right? Oh yeah, I'm about to. Store, I'm store, more than half dead. Short. At this point, I'm at like I'm at like I'm at like three fifths. Please don't. Short say and that. exciting sounds like our sex lives, right? <laughs> Come on, man! What? Your mother is watching this. No, she, my, your mother is watching this. Sorry, mom. I didn't know. 
Okay. Walk home. How does she know how to use the computer? This is a, here's another question. R Ray Anna says, can you say my name? You just did. I was, but I was Rihanna or Rihanna? They, want, they don't want me to say it. Oh. Hi, Rihanna. That's not, that's, not even, that's not even how you pronounce Ray it. Ray Shannon. Um, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon says, where is your favorite place to film an episode of Impractical Jokers? Good question. I would love to film just in my, in my house. <laughs> yeah, if, I could do, if I could do one from bed. No, you know what actually is always fun and I can't wait to do it and I hope we do it again this season was when we play receptionists. Yeah, that's that always great. so much fun to play. That's great. Because, yeah, it's really uh, awkward. A waiting room is just awkward and easy. Yep. Yeah. I hear rumors that we will be back at White Castle this season too. So Ooh. Maybe. What's yeah. I don't know. That's great. You hey, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> this is what we deal with here. By yeah, the way, guys, uh, see us live on tour, the Santiago Centers tour. You can find all ticket dates for all of our tours at impracticaljokers.com. Do we right. have the clip? Can we throw a clip? Can no we? throw no to clip. clip. No. Don't, Don't throw, throw to the so clip. Let's, let's scroll Is up. this Alice is doing? Um, all right. Guys, we, we love our fans. Thank you so much for uh, watching us. That's right. And we appreciate it. And let's hear it for Shay. Siobhan DeBerry right now tonight. We love Shay. Couldn't make the show without her. Clap! Yes, thank you very much for tuning in. That is all the time that we have for Impractically Speaking. Now you could turn to True TV and watch the fantastic access presented by Geico Special. And at 10.30, we've got a new episode of Inside Jokes. Yes. I've been Casey Jost. This has been Joe Gatto. We got James Murray, Shay DeBerry. And from all of us... To all of you. Goodbye. <laughs> Freeze.